Don't worry about the Knicks, because it's your boy, Chris, with the Knicks. All right, so I want to talk about the 3LW um, management situation. Uh, now, this is a story, because, you know, I, I grew up in that era. You know, I remember 3LW. So, um, in the story, no, no, I think she's a real nice girl, so I want to do a story about this. All right, so as you know, a three old um, um, Notori Nott and Adrian Bylone, they finally like made up. They finally like uh, talked to each other after not seeing each other for um, almost 15, uh, 10, 15 years. Um, the management came out. Uh, Keely, Keely Williams' uh, sister, which was their manager, at the time, and their mother also managed them. They came out saying, you know, uh, no, you didn't get, uh, she was saying that, and Tori uh, Notton did get kicked out of the group because she was dark. They just kicked her out because she, you know, couldn't sing. Um, and that Adria Ballon was just a hoe to get to where she got to. Now, for Notori Notton's, um, for Notori Notton specifically, her story has always stayed the same from the time she got kicked out of the group to now. Even on the Vlad, um, the Vlad blogs, when she started on Star, you know, when she did play Lil' Kim, um, Vlad had a, a, in a Biggie movie, Vlad had, um, interviewed her, you know, after, you know, the Biggie movie came out. And then, you know, she said the same thing, you know, they kicked her because she was dark skinned. And then she was putting on a little bit of weight, you know, and that they threw chicken at her. Like, fried chicken, come on now, out of all things. And Keely Williams, you black. You you know better than that. You know, they her story has always stayed the same. You know, so I do believe her. The girl just seems like a really humble, uh, sweet girl. She doesn't seem like somebody who just, you know, pop off for no reason. You know, the same with, um, how do you call it? Latoya Luckett from Destiny's Show. I'm so happy to see her, like, you know, charting and doing her thing. Because she said on the Boulevard of Broken Dreams that he was not going to keep her down. And she actually, and she actually, you know, kept her, um, uh, and she actually kept that, you know, she's in these, um, movies as the preacher's daughter. And then she did, she came out with Torn, her song Torn in like 2009. You know, so I'm really happy to see her flourish, just like Natori Naughton. You know, Natori, uh, Keely William, this is probably why her, her shit never surfaced because she's probably doing some dirt and this is why she's not, you know, popping no more. Yes, she was cute. Yes, she had that sort of Aaliyah look. Not quite because no one could do like baby girl, but she had that, you know, Aaliyah look almost, you know, just very, you know, she looked good, you know, but this is why after, uh, after the Cheetah Girls, because after 3LW ended, they already knew they was about to fit the flop. Because they got another dark-skinned girl named Jessica, but they it didn't work. Because after the backlash, because after the Notori came out and told everybody that she got kicked out for being dark-skinned, they tried to make her look crazy and get the another dark-skinned girl, but it didn't work. And I do believe they did kick her out because she was dark-skinned. Because if you notice in that era, this is the early 2000s, the music videos was with the... Um, Video vixens, they would start and put the lighter girls and the ambiguous girls to the front. If you look at early 2000 videos, you will see a lot of the um, racially ambiguous or light skinned Latinas or white girls or anything, they was in the front. Whereas the 90s and Thong Song and all these other videos, you know, DMX or you are LA cool, cool J's LL Cool J's song doing it. You saw a lot of dark skinned chicks, you know, a lot of the darker girls. Uh, you didn't really see too many like light skinned females. I think that's why, um, Vanessa Williams had a hard time like establishing herself, even though she could really sing. You know, a lot of people just wasn't, you know, you know, dark skin was a thing back then. You know, because first they try to give her that Janet Jackson flow, then they kind of give her the Whitney Houston flow. Um, I think the Whitney Houston flow worked better. Like with the save, save, um, uh, save the best for last. That was on Disney. They kind of you gave her that. Even in one video, I think she was pretending to be Brandy. <laughs> so, 
you know, but in the early 2000s, a lot of, um, a lot of light-skinned people, you know, they started to move towards that, um, era. They started to move towards that look. So I do believe they did that to her. And Keely, this is why her, like I said, after, um, Cheetah Girls, after they flopped, they got rid of the dark-skinned girls. They went to Cheetah Girls. Raven Simone was basically the Beyonce of Cheetah Girls. And then she left, and then Cheetah Girls was still popping, and then Disney era faded. So, you know, Adrian Ballon went surreal, and a lot of people keep, like, throwing her name around, saying that she just um, slutted her way up. Because <laughs> somebody said something about Kanye West, that she smashed Kanye West, and I'm starting to believe that is true, because, you know, Rob has nothing to really do with her. A lot of people say it's because of her, the reason why he's fat, because he was deeply in love with her. Because you know this Rob Kardashian was actually, if you see older episodes of Keep It Up with Kardashian, he was actually fit, you know. But um, after Adrian Bailon, she, um, after Adrian Bailon, you know, you don't really see him talk about Kanye. You know, you see him with Scott Disick, you see him with Lamar Odom. When they get together, they like the best of friends. They like brothers. But Kanye West, you, I've never seen him, not one pick of them together. Also, you know, he came out dissing Kim one time, you know, so I don't think he has too much to do with that. So I believe that's true. Um, Adrian does seem like to be a nice girl, but like Monique said, just because you loud, you're not keeping it real, you know. So I, she, <laughs> I guess she did sleep her way to the top. Or, you know, a lot of people kept throwing, passing her name around like that, you know, and I don't believe everything I hear, but. You know, you guys kind of like look real deeply into it, you know, because Rob, yeah, he really hit rock bottom after her. And you notice like, when they bring up the Kardashians, she don't really, you know, either she won't, she'll say a little bit about them or she won't say nothing at all. I think even Lonnie had to like, you know, bust out and say, you know, hey, I'll fight them for you. You know, I could take two at a time or something. I remember her saying that. But Notori Nan, uh, I'm going to need... Uh, Keely Williams, uh, manager, the ex manager of uh, 3LW, and all of them to have several seats. Um, throw in a couple, four extra seats if you need to, because uh, Notori Nine did tell the truth. It was her in the dark will come to light. That's why that girl's floors. That's why her career is popping. This is why Keely Williams, nobody heard of her. Then she made a song about a date rape. And then she tried to t turn it around and say, oh, I'm just joking. You know, she had like the short haircut. She was shaking her ass on top of a car. I think she was trying to be Rihanna. I don't know what the hell that was about, but she turned around and said it was just a joke. They interviewed her, but you know, again, I have not seen nothing from her since Cheetah, Girl Cheetah Girls, as well as that other dark skinned girl named Jessica. We don't know where, what happened to them, but Notori not, and I'm just glad that her career popped off, you know. She seems to be a really nice, humble girl, you know. I don't know her personally, but again, people's, um, like I said, was there in a dark world come to light eventually? <laughs> you know, like Lil' Kim said that about Nikki. Look at Nikki now. You know, Remy Ma put that diss on her, you know. It's, you know, you can't really fake, you can't really fake the funk too long. Some the stuff will start to show up. And, you know, this is why this girl is blessed. She's on power. She's doing her thing. You know, and I hope to see her, you know, get bigger as time go by. Adrian, uh, she stole uh, the girl, the, the the guy that she was married to. He was actually dating somebody, and I think they kicked him out of the church because he was cheating. Uh, he cheated on his wife, you know, so she was married. So she was married to him. At, uh, so she got with him when he was he had a wife. So um, Adrian. And whatever dirt you do, you may want to stop because you reap what you sow. You know, glad to see her flourish too in the real. You know, I'm not saying I have anything against Adrian, I think she's cool too. But again, you know, Notori not, and I don't think she was feeling that apology either. She was, <laughs> you could tell her face, she was like, uh huh, the, the bitch, I'm gonna keep it cute. I think she was just keeping it cute for the camera, but you could tell like, <laughs> she was like, bitch, you know, you lying, you ain't sorry for none of that. You had all this time to say sorry. Because I think they interviewed Adrian, like the first season of Real, somebody interviewed her and asked her, did, she, did they talk? And she said no. And she said something uh, that she didn't really, she talked to uh, Keely or something. 
or she hadn't talked to Keely either. So I think Keely, Keely was actually the one of the problem. It hurt her management. Now she's throwing chicken, <laughs> throwing chicken at people. Now she probably, her ass is probably working at KFC now for doing that. So that's my take on it. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next. Peace.